What's up guys, I am back and iOS 14 is just a few weeks away. So in this video, we'll be talking about every single confirmed feature because there are more than 20. Now the most significant change in iOS 14 is gonna be a brand new home screen layout. This feature was confirmed with an iPhone 12 week where both widgets and icons were seen simultaneously on the home screen. Now this will allow users more customizability from the stock and the downloaded apps right on your home screen. Now Apple is also gonna redesign the entire wallpaper section by allowing users to change a stock wallpaper in to blur or gradient which will be really cool and just like any iOS update there will be a lot of new wallpapers when iOS 14 arrives with the developer beta in June so a lot of new stuff will be coming to this specific section with this update and you may not know but Apple recently acquired dark sky weather it's deemed as one of the best weather applications so you can expect iOS 14 to have a much better stock weather app with more accurate info. Apple is also going to be pushing OS recovery with this update. If you know what Mac OS recovery is, you know this feature is great. We saw a bit of it in iOS 13.4, but it's finally going to be shipping in iOS 14 in June. Now Apple is also going to be adding a bunch of new features to the accessibility section and one such feature that caught my eye was for people with hearing loss where it'll be able to detect voices like a fire alarm or a siren and convert that into haptic feedback for all those people, which in my opinion is a great feature to have and Apple is finally gonna make Safari downloads better with this update. Now we finally got them in iOS 13 but they're not the best, we all know that. They're flimsy and the organization isn't the best but expect that to get much better with iOS 14 and Apple is also gonna allow a lot of new tabs in the bottom with this update and you'll be able to change them around so finally that's gonna be a pretty cool feature to have. Now HomeKit is also gonna get a bunch of new features like better camera recognition, better Apple TV support for your HomePod and all that stuff. But one feature that in my opinion is brilliant is like night shift. So you know how you can just make your phone dimmer and yellower at night by scheduling night shift? Well, if your lights support that dimming, you'll be able to pull that off on them right from the HomeKit, which in my opinion is a great feature to have. Also, Apple is gonna add some sort of one password like feature to your passwords and account section, making your iCloud keychain for passwords more secure with this update. Now we don't know for sure if that's gonna be a two-step verification for stock applications, but something like that is definitely shipping with this update, just making it more secure and less buggier. Now also expect a bunch of new emojis and meme emojis, and by the leaks, it's gonna be around 70 new emojis and five new meme emojis, but that number we don't know for sure is gonna be shipping in June or later in September with iOS 14.1 or 14.2. Now Apple is also beta testing a new feature for AR or say augmented reality where if you go to an Apple store and you point your phone at an Apple device, you'll be able to know every single thing about that device right inside the AR app. And this is also supposed to work for Starbucks with coffees and frappes, which in my opinion is a pretty cool feature to have. And Apple is also gonna change the camera UI, maybe allowing AR right inside the camera app. Now we can also expect iOS 14 to have way better performance and way better battery life, especially for the older iPhones like the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 with this update. And we can also expect it to have lesser bugs in the developer beta, which brings me to my next point. The release date is gonna be on the first Monday of June June 1. Now, depending on the situation we are in right now, it's not for sure if it's gonna be in June 1 or June 8, but we'll see how that turns out. And let's talk about supported devices. So everything that supported iOS 13 is gonna support iOS 14, iPhone SE, 7, 8, 10, 10s. Same goes for the iPad OS as well. So that is pretty much it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. More content coming really, really soon. Until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.